daddy-o oh, yeah. I'm just so addicted, can't leave it alone Young Jack in the streets morning, take over. It is a toxic Tuesday. God woke us up this morning. If you get our voice, that means you woke too. Date Dilemma, got to hit you with that. That's coming up. Also, are you smarter than Young Jock? We got a $50 gas card on the line for you if you can prove that you're smarter than me. Let's shout out what you got coming up, my boy. Coming up shortly, man. Y'all keep it locked because I got that crazy report coming up. That's right, the craziest news that you're going to hear all day. I'm going to deliver it with a punchline. So keep it right here. That is. Hey, man, y'all make sure y'all stick around. It's Toxic Tuesday. We'll have a good time today. I promise you that. Keep it locked, Young Jock, in the streets morning takeover. Yeah. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover brings you the biggest thing happening today. What's poppin'? Pop, poppin'? We are now live on your radio. Man, you better believe it. I'm talking about fresh off of a crazy weekend. You know who it is. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Yeah. We got to get into the biggest thing happening today. It's a lot of things that are big. What do you say, uh, Bunny Banks? Well, it looks like Donald Trump has a lot to say as he's put the Democrats on blast for efforts to bring back COVID mandates ahead of 2024. The left-wing lunatics are trying very hard to bring back COVID lockdowns and mandates with all of their sudden fear-mongering about the new variants that are coming. Gee whiz, you know what else is coming? An election. They want to restart the COVID hysteria so they can justify more lockdowns, more censorship, more illegal drop boxes, more mail-in ballots, and trillions of dollars in payoffs to their political allies heading into the 2024 election. Does that sound familiar? These are bad people. These are sick people we're dealing with. But to every COVID tyrant who wants to take away our freedom, hear these words. We will not comply. So don't even think about it. We will not shut down our schools. We will not accept your lockdowns. We will not abide by your mask mandates. And we will not tolerate your vaccine mandates. Now, isn't it ironic that First Lady Jill Biden has just tested positive for COVID-19? Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, like I said, I've been telling y'all this for weeks. I've been like, look, that COVID finna ramp up. They got election season coming up. Every election season, they get these scare tactics. And I'm scare telling tactics. you. Yeah, it is, man. I'm telling you. That well, why ahead. is it not just people being safer when it gets colder? Because you're going to get sick. Well, okay. I don't think it has nothing to do with colder. Because at the end of the day, it's dead hot outside. Right now as we speak, and for weeks, months, and now they've been talking about COVID. They've been seeing traces of COVID. But what I will say is we're not all in the blind anymore as we once were. When this first initially uh, presented itself to us as a pandemic, um, this go around, I think a lot of us, as far as not just Americans, just humans, period, I think we're a lot more educated, a lot more in the know and understand how to possibly, uh, you know, live while this is going on, so exactly. Okay. Back to Trump. Well, that's said. the biggest thing. That what she said. Hi. Hey man, make sure you keep it right where you got it. Y'all jockin' the streets more than take over. Check the news. That's right. Thank you for waking up with us. Please, please. Take this all in as we take you around the streets in 90 seconds with Bunny Banks. What up, Bunny? Let's get into it. This past Labor Day, there was a string of nine shootings in Atlanta that left 15 shot and six killed. They mm. did release a picture of the person of interest in the shooting that left one person dead over the weekend. Harrison Olby was shot to death. A really good kid. If I had a son, I would have won him, for sure. That wasn't the only deadly shooting Sunday. Later that morning at 10 a.m. off Adkins Road. One multiple person shot. Police got a call about a shooting that left three adults and two kids ages 15 and 3 hospitalized. Police say the shooter, an 18-year-old, shot and killed himself. Police think this shooting was domestic. Early Saturday morning, around 1 a.m., police got a call about a person shot and killed near Thomasville Boulevard Southeast and Henry Thomas Drive Southeast. Police say the suspect is in jail. 
Let's just be safe out there. I know they're working on these gun laws to try to make it more, um, well, safer for people to carry as well as protect themselves. But, you know, know when to use it and know when not to use it as well. Okay. Mayor Andre Dickens is concerned about community impact after the crane truck fell through a parking garage in Publix. In a statement issued Monday, the mayor said, quote, Our administration is concerned about the impact this incident will have on the safety and access to food and pharmacy services in this community. While there is no exact timeline for full resolution, I have been told several options for full or partial reopening of the store and parking garage are under review by the companies involved. The collapse of the parking garage happened Saturday when a crane truck parked on the upper level, even though it exceeded the weight limit, causing it to collapse through the floor and onto the lower level. One person was transported to the hospital at the time with minor injuries. Now that is going to affect some college students in the Georgia State area um, as that is their public shopping center, okay? Now if you're in Virginia, they are working on a budget bill to include raises for teachers and state workers. So that's always good news. And also in Alabama, a preferred bill is being seeked out for Juneteenth to be a permanent state holiday. Mm-hmm. So that's Around the Streets in 90 Seconds. It's your girl, Bonnie Banks. You got to try to try with the crazy report coming up next. It's Hi. Young Jack and the Streets Morning Takeover. Yo, it's the craziest story you'll hear all morning. The crazy report is on right now. Shotty, shotty, run it down. Yeah, run it down is what we about to do, man. That's what happened. It ran down his leg. A first-class passenger huh? got diarrhea on the plane, Jock. Uh-huh. And when he tried to run to the bathroom in the back, he dripped boo-boo all the way. A Delta flight from Atlanta to Barcelona was forced to turn around and make an emergency landing after a passenger had diarrhea all the way through the plane. Negative. It's just a, a biohazard issue. I, you know, we've had a passenger who had diarrhea all the way through the airplane, so they want us to come back to Atlanta. The identity of the passenger remains a mystery, but the plane made it to Barcelona eight hours later than scheduled. Cleaning crews were able to scrub down the aircraft once it landed in Atlanta, where it was used for another flight. Yes, y'all. Oh, my God. They was all the way over Virginia when the diarrhea started. They had to come back to Atlanta. No. And, yes, in, in, no. in the air traffic controller, when they got back to Atlanta, he was like, Delta Flight DL-179, you're number two for landing. <laughs> and that's crazy. <laughs> and you know I know crazy because I'm crazy. And crazy knows crazy. And then they skid it down the runway. Oh. That's y'all with my name is with the crazy report. Follow me on Instagram <laughs> at Shouty the Comedian. Hi. get into these national days. <laughs> I know we're in another segment off of that, but I don't know how anybody could last what, a, 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 at least another hour flight, hour and a half. Yes, yeah, two hours back, and then they yeah. said they covered it up with vanilla spray, but it smelled like vanilla spray. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, this would be a good time that the mask mandate might come in handy. That mask mandate <laughs> <don't laughs> <stop. The> mask <laughs> mandate, the mask fell up on the compartment. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, let's get into these national days, man. <laughs> Today is National <gasps> Cheese Pizza Day. Mmm, that'll give you rice. Definitely will, definitely will. Uh, today is Telephone Tuesday. I don't know what the concept behind Telephone Tuesday is, but we're going to definitely look into it. National Cellulite Day. That's what's up. Shout out to everybody dealing with cellulite. Yeah. Okay. Tighten it cellulite? up. Cellulite? Yeah. You, you, you're seeing about five Shout out to a lot of people with it. You said cellulite. What am I supposed to say? Cellulite? It's different ways. Say you eat, say you like tomato, tomato, <laughs> potato, potato. Between you and Shouty, no. What no. I'm saying? Some people say sell you eat. Some people say sell you like. The first time I said I said sell you like. Call us if you say sell you eat. The first time I said sell you like. Call us if you say sell you eat. You like. <laughs> see, see, her ear didn't catch it the first time. That's okay. Yeah, I'm quit shaming women out there. Yeah, how about that? All right, today's National Shrink Day. I mean, like psychiatrists. Like oh. Shrink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shouty, yeah. don't laugh. Don't, <laughs> Don't keep it moving. All right, now we gotta get into these celebrity birthdays. Uh, it's Virgo season. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, shout out to the one, the young. Come on, he always keeps it real. Always listening to come get your roll on, ladies and gentlemen. Happy birthday to Roland Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Roland Ray, like Doc. Thank you for the shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling Ray. Okay. Hey man, we got plenty coming up, man. Make sure you get your name on the birthday list. Hit us up because we got a birthday song coming for your ah. yeah. We want to get your name on it, man. 1844 Y U N G J O C. That's 184498645622. Call us up. We got you, baby. Keep it locked, young jock at the streets morning. Take over. It's about that time to wish happy birthday to all local celebrities. It's the birthday wish list with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. I heard it's your birthday. It's the fifth. Yeah. If the fifth was a fifth. 
Yeah. We'd all be drunk. Uh, yeah. Really? With my birthday crew. It's your birthday. Tell me with my birthday crew. It's your birthday. Oh, man. With my birthday crew. It's your birthday. Yeah, with my birthday crew. It's your birthday. Anita Hammond. It's your birthday. Hey, San Quinn Ford. It's your birthday. Hey, Jimmy Jam. It's your birthday. Hey, Hey, Manny Verdier. It's your birthday. Murray Hall. It's your birthday. Hey, Maria Martinez. It's your birthday. Oh, okay, hey, Jimmy Jam. It's your birthday. Hey, Hey, Manny Verdier. It's your birthday. Hey, Murray Martinez. Okay, hey, Judy Johnson. It's your birthday. Hey, Keisha Reagan. Oh, hey, Donna Levine. It's your birthday. Hey, Candace Levine. It's your birthday. Let's go, baby. That's right, we lit. <laughs> oh, young <laughs> shot. <laughs> Miss shot, nigga shot, shot. I got my girl Bunny Banks in. <laughs> Hey, Y'all want to be with you so bad, he done took your headphones. Woman, woman, our headphones are right here next to each other. I, I done grabbed Johnny. I'm like, these feel comfortable. You know, mine cracking on the ear. But what's oh, going man. on? Man. All right, we're going to talk about yesterday as Shannon Sharp joined First Take for his first official day. He had a few slip-ups when he called his new co-host, Stephen A. Smith, Skip. Ooh. Hey, you know what, Skip? Skip. It's okay. It's okay. It's been seven years. It's Even eight. Right, I got you. Man. <laughs> oh, my God. Imagine doing that several times. <laughs> he did it several times? I think that's the viral One time moment. is okay. I think, I think that's the that After that? I think that's the viral moment. I think that's the viral moment. And then he, it could did, be real. he did seem very genuine in the fact that he accidentally called him when he when he when he apologized. To yes, real. he was only on for an hour yesterday. Meanwhile, Skip, his uh, former co-host, had Deion Sanders, Michael Irvin, and some other heavy hitters. So, who did you tune in? Well, let me ask Swin. Did you actually tune into a uh, first take or undisputed? Which one was this, Swin? I, I checked out both of them and okay. FS1. Undisputed was definitely the better show. Yes. Oh no, Deion Sanders, Michael, uh, Michael Irvin, and them. Yes, yeah. De- and that's Skip. Deion Sanders did his skip thing this weekend. Mm-hmm. Well, that's pretty interesting. Um, I mean, we're gonna wait, see how this made, plays. I'm sorry, but what made it better? They had Deion Sanders. Deion. Oh, okay. Yeah. Neon, Deon. I mean, he just he just uh, won with Colorado, he's the University thing. of Colorado. Yeah, so yeah, he's the right biggest now. thing right now, and I'm sure people are still talking about how he left Jackson. So I mean, there's a lot to talk about on that show versus over here. We got Shannon Sharp calling people the wrong name. <laughs> hey, don't do my man. Wow, Shay. I don't do Shay Shay like he that. He gonna get it together. I promise. All right, we're going to get into what's coming up next on the Word on the Streets. Beyonce! It's Virgo season. That's my favorite Virgo. I love Beyonce. And she had to give a speech for her L.A. show. That one's coming up next. Young Dolph has... Young Dolph's wife, excuse me, has a song for the killers. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, that should be... You guys are going to hear it coming up. Don't yeah. go anywhere. It's Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Keep it locked right here to Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Ladies and gentlemen, word, word on the streets, she be bopping, I need more. Yeah. Word on the streets, screaming bright like on a moped. Word on the streets, I get it popping like a blackhead. Word on the streets, going down like Jock said. It's Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover with Miss Shanika. That's right, that's right. You know what it is. Got my girl, Bunny Banks, sitting there for Miss Shanika. What up, Bunny? What's going on, people? It's your girl, Bunny Banks. I'm going to get you the tea that's in the streets now. It's a Virgo season. Better know it. And everybody is wearing silver for their favorite Virgo, Beyonce, Jack. Not you. Okay. Beyonce is giving her thank you speech <laughs> at the L.A. show for her birthday. It was very emotional, and we all loved it. If you're part of the Beehive, you were just crying with Beyonce on stage. <laughs> When I tell you Beyonce is giving a perfect pageant and just 
everything. She's giving everything. And this show was no different. She brought out Kendrick Lamar as well. Wow. So it was just an amazing show. She brought out Laverne Cox, Kim Kardashian. I mean, all the celebs were in the building, and it was a great time. So happy belated birthday to Queen Bay. all right? Young Dolph's wife, she wrote a song, shared it on social media, and dedicated it to his killers. Oh, ain't shit. What you did How could you take A father From his family And kids Mr. Shooter Did Mr. Shooter What the f*** Was you thinking You done fucked up now Now she was getting a lot of backlash Because people were like I wouldn't dedicate a song to the killers But Let's remember that music is therapeutic and maybe she was writing, you know, from her heart of how she felt. And, no maybe. and then she, well, she was, <laughs> and she shared it with us. But some of the comments had me really choked up because this one person said, it's for the killers. You're supposed to sound like young boy. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I can see people singing maybe this. Maybe Nardo. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I can see people singing this at funerals. I can see people making this like when their loved ones are shot yeah. unintentionally. I can see, you know, that uh, people playing this song. Yeah, it's very heartfelt. And I, you know, I've heard it and I was like, okay, yeah, like I get it. I get what she, where she was coming from. So you guys don't give her too much slack. I think she was really just trying to dedicate um, a song to them and show her emotions via social media. One, one of the, just chime in real quick. One of the main things I kind of hate about social media because everybody gets to just display their opinion on what they think protocol is. Mm -hmm. And it's clear that everybody's not on the same page. Everybody does not have the so same social cues or understanding when it comes to just social protocol. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, you know, yeah. they came for you when you started crying on social media. Not knowing that I was really... You were really going through it. I was really going through I it. I know. So. Yeah. Last but not least, Blueface Mom says he wasn't in the delivery room with Krishan because he didn't want to jeopardize his relationship with his baby mom. You know, he's been with her for two months. Man. Krishan also said that she didn't want to invite him because, I mean, she pretty much doesn't really want him around the child right now. Yeah. So... She was like, you guys not about to be around my son. I've got everything to do to protect him. And I hate jealousy of any kind. So that's why we did not see Blueface with Krishan. Yeah, and everybody was judging them. And she had uh, a lot of people on her life. You know what she named the baby? What's she named? Krishan. She did? Yes. She named her Krishan. You're going you gonna <laughs> to mention me forever. <laughs> that is the word on the streets. I'm your girl, Bonnie Banks. You guys can see all that on Streets with the Z, Streets Morning Takeover. Follow me at T H E E V Bonnie Banks. Thank you, buddy. Hey, coming up, man, we got a situation that took place with Toya Justin. She was called out for not posting someone's music. Her brother. Wow. Her. And, you know, we want to talk to y'all because we want to know do you have to, re do you have to repost your friends or family's businesses or anything that they're doing? To show that you support them. We want to know how you feel about it because I be seeing it happen sometimes. Y'all do it sometimes. Y'all don't. Oh, God. 1844 Y U N G J O C. Make sure you <laughs> stick around because it's coming up. Young yeah. Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Hey, what's up? It is Killer Mike, a.k.a. Michael. Every weekday from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., you listening to the best damn morning show. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. You know. Yeah, yeah, happy Tuesday. It's the fifth. Yeah. For anybody that uh, don't know what's going on, happy birthday to Miss B. What up, Miss B? Happy birthday, baby girl. All right, we got to get into this. So, Toya Johnson uh -huh. apparently has been uh, called out for not supporting her brother's music, or I'm not going to say not supporting it, just not posting his music. Take a listen. You expect us to make your music no. pop. I, I just feel like you could support Take it from me here. more. You can post he me do more. That with you can listen to my song. You can post my Apple music. You never post my Apple music yet that I got online right now. You book my shows? You got shows booked for me? I'm your sister, bitch. I'm not your mom. Let me tell you when I learned about men like you. No matter what we do or how many times it's we never, do it, it's enough. never gonna enough. be enough. If Wayne hear my music right now, he's gonna like it. Wow. Mm. So how do you feel about that, Jock? Because I know, you know, you have a huge platform. Even you, Shaw, do you have a big platform? And people probably hit you guys up to be like, hey, can you repost my stuff? Can you do this for me? Well, here's the thing. One thing I've learned. Um, sometimes when people genuinely rock with what you're doing, mm -hmm. you don't have to ask. That's how I feel. 
You know They'll what I'm saying? repost it because they want to, or they, they see that it's popping. And I think that's what you should look at and, and, and appreciate that. You seek out those people um, because those are the people who genuinely um, care about what you're doing. And I'm not saying she doesn't care about what he's doing. Um, he sounds like, you know, him say, throw the whole thing out about Wayne. Mm-hmm. He probably doesn't care for her husband as much because he probably, that's mm-hmm. one of the reasons why he feels like she's not supporting because her husband. Her and her husband, they have their whole Dang thing on. they do. Yes. And they're always posting their content, their brand. And as a brother, he probably like, well, why? You, I mean, you got this man in your life. Y'all doing this. Why you can't support me? Yeah. Hey, look, man, we over here trying to take care of our household. What you doing over here? You might. And then we don't know how consistent he is with his music. Exactly. So. He probably been trying to get it. But I'm going to tell you now, my sister woke me out with this GoFundMe. <laughs> now, I'm serious. Like, my, my niece <laughs> was going to college. And she was sending her off to college. And so, uh, my sister has eight kids. She's been blessed with eight kids, you guys. Eight, eight kids. Eight kids, yes. And, um, you know, now they're going off to college and going in, in, mm. in money. I, it's a lot to have eight kids. So it's she's a like, lot to have one kid. Can you post this uh, GoFundMe? Because um, I'm sending her to college and she has to pay uh, out-of-state tuition and uh, she needs housing. And so I'm like, how much is it? And she was like, $8,000. And I'm like, man, we don't be doing no GoFundMe. She need to stay uh, in state, first and foremost. No, but then when she sent it to me, it was for 16000 She's like, I just wanted to go ahead and take care of the whole year. I'm like, girl, you begging. So here's the thing. Uh-huh. Here's the thing. I'm going to tell you how crazy it is. The person who's asking you to support them in this way, uh-huh. They're going to look at how you treat them from that point on because they ask you to do something simple. You don't feel like it's something simple because you're asking me to do something that I may not even care to do at the moment. Mm-hmm. But to them, they're like, man, just post it. Just, just throw it on that one time. No. But guess what? I posted it. I posted it and she got the 8000 And then she got a scholarship for the rest of the money. So see, you look at it? you, Shawty. Look at you helping that's, people. But see, that's what support looks like. And that's why she like. wanted yes. you to post it. Yeah, I didn't so want to, go. but I, I put it on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what that's the powers in numbers, man. They, they yeah. always say. So I want to know from y'all, man. Do you have to repost your friends or your family's businesses to show them that you support them? Hmm. Call us up, because everybody, I'm, I'm pretty sure we got we got some very intelligent listeners. Y'all call us up, because I want to hear from somebody with some very interesting mm-hmm. to say. Somebody got some intellect. One eight four four Y U N G J O C. That's one eight four four nine eight six four five six two. Let us know how you feel. Yeah, you know what it is. Young Jock, Bunny Banks, Shouter Shouter. <laughs> hey, man, I'm just, just checking out this whole situation with Toya Johnson and her brother and mm-hmm. Regine uh, on the new show. And, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. The brother feels like, yo, you should share my music. Like, not out of entitlement, maybe, but just out of support. Just support me a little bit. Well, it was a little entitled because he was trying to say, like, I'm your brother and, like, you share everybody else's stuff, but you don't share mine. And if Lil Wayne heard it, then he would love it. Like, hold on, sir. How you know what Lil Wayne likes? But, yeah. But that's the problem, like Jock pointed out. When you mention Lil Wayne and my husband, I'm in a whole nother marriage. Yeah. And what's your motive? Like, come on. And it's the energy he probably care. And she's like, I ain't stabbed my brother. You know, <laughs> he probably done made plenty of posts from him in the past and didn't do nothing. Now... If he had money attached to it, and he was going to make money off the post by selling his music and didn't have to borrow none from me, I would post it in a heartbeat. Now, here's the thing. Does he support what they do? Toya mm-hmm. and her husband. Does he exactly. support all the things, the stuff they do? Because a lot of people will not support you at all and will be like, it's me. Look out for me. Be like, But you never look out for me. I just want to know, you know, do you have to repost your friends and family's businesses to show them that you support them? You know what I'm saying? Because... Bunny, let me ask you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anybody? Because because you're an artist too, and you have music, and you you do great content and a lot of content fast, right? Mm-hmm. Is it anyone that you've asked to like support your support you and your content, and they don't or they do? So the way that I move is I don't tell people to like support me. I like I want them to genuinely feel like oh they saw it and they want to repost it, they want to show it, and like people have showed love because they genuinely. You know, we're cool. Right. And they like it. Bunny, so, what? You are a story. You will sit here and grab all our phones and download your music. First of all, I did that one time. Us. I did that one time. 
The difference between me and you, Shawty, is you will play your whole song and force people to listen to your music. <laughs> and we will tell, guys, we will tell Shawty to stop and he going to force you to listen to the verse, the chorus, the second verse, the chorus. I'm like, okay, we could have did with just the chorus. I don't do that. I'll send it and if I'll let you guys do what you do with it. But so the first Shawty one had an so, attachment to so, it. So if Shawty asked you to repost his, his music right now, would you do it for him? Man. What? <laughs> what? You know, I, I actually low key, you. real quick, when me and Shawty got beat because I've been showing up and supporting Shawty and Shawty still ain't show up and support none of my stuff. Oh, man. We want to so, know how y'all feel. Oh, Do you have to repost your friends or family's businesses to show them that you actually support them? I don't think that you do. Um, it would be nice to for people, you know, that's friends and family to support each other. But at the same time, I think that it kind of depends on what you're doing. Like you guys said, the consistency of what they're doing to support their own business. No, exactly. That's, that's true. Thank you for your call. Young Jack in the Streets morning. Take over. Talk to me. Okay. So, you know, I, I, I personally don't care for Toya and Reggie The vibes they give off is kind of just nasty to me. And I feel like it's nothing but a simple post, you know. I mean, of course, you know, you have those family members who are old girl, you know, today I'm going to start selling hair or I'm doing nails. Or I feel like whatever it is, you know, still kind of shows some kind of support. Like, the way they was back him on that episode, I really didn't like it. I mean, then again, I don't know what their personal family relationship is like. But, I mean, it's just a simple post. The man is literally crying, like, baby, just post me. Give me a little share or something. You know, it's just it's just nothing that but that simple. Young Jack in the Streets morning and take over. Talk about it. Yes, I talked <laughs> Because uh, I do agree that you should be able to um, repost your family member's business. One time I had a cousin that never reposted mine, but I reposted hers. And people always used to complain about her food was nasty and dry and nasty, but it was. So you, no. you didn't try her food before you reposted her stuff? Yes, I know her food was nasty, but I still supported her and reposted. No, nah, you posted, told her, I cannot post your food because people say it's nasty. When you come with a good menu, I'll post it. You got to motivate. You can't just aid it. You can't uh, aid in the bed. The person, if they ain't doing nothing good. That's false advertising. I'm mad either way, so I still motivated her and told her her food was good. Yeah. And I still got her some clients here, and they still say her food was nasty, but it was just a point. <laughs> I Thank, Thank you for your call. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, man. We appreciate y'all. It's time for the Date Dilemma. one 844 yung That's one 844 Call us up. Let's see if we can get it eliminated. We got $100 on the line for you. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. You are listening to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. And it's time for the Date Dilemma right now. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. If you got a dilemma, they got a dilemma, which means we got a dilemma. It's the Date Dilemma. Who's on the line this morning? It's Sydney. So, I know y'all saw the thing with the coach hitting the, the kid in the stomach and everything like that in Atlanta. So, me and That was your husband, boyfriend? It was not my boyfriend. Oh, no. But, oh. but, but <laughs> me and my boyfriend was talking about it, right? Uh-huh. He was debating on it, and I was getting really upset because no, no coach, nobody is about to hit my child. That is my child. You know what I mean? And he goes, well, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Excuse me? Sir, sir, what do you mean you don't see nothing wrong with somebody else hitting your child? So, that, that made me think because, you know... He's not my child's father, which I don't. I know I, I don't have a real problem with discipline, but if you're that willing to uh, uh, and okay to let a stranger hit our child, like what what is going on? So we was arguing for a couple days, and then I just it was to the point where I just decided to up and leave. I went to my mom's house, talked to her about it. But you know what? While I was there, I was I realized that I mean we could have just talked it through, and me leaving was kind of crazy. You know what I mean? It wasn't that deep for me to leave, but now I miss him. And, Oh, we need to talk. <laughs> How long you been gone? I've been gone two days. Oh, okay, that ain't too bad. It's just, oh. y- y'all almost had a bad argument. Like, really bad. Well, he know where you at? He, he knows I'm at my mom's house. Mm. So you want your man back? I want my man back. I miss him. But y'all, you, you, really ain't, you really ain't do nothing but be gone for uh, for two days from the house. But but he's making it seem like I left and it was it was over dramatic and mm-hmm. I did the most. Yeah, because you're never supposed to leave in an argument. That's number one rule to a relationship. You don't leave at your most vulnerable time. I just felt like he was never going to see where I was coming from. And then the fact that, you know, biologically, my son isn't his. And it was just, it just, it just, at that time, I thought that was the best thing to do. Okay, cool. So what's his name? Jeffrey. Jeffrey. And what's your name against what? Sydney. All right, Sydney. We're going to uh, make an attempt to get Jeffrey on the phone. Put your phone on mute. We'll cue you in with this time. Hopefully this works out for you, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. See, that's what I've been talking about. Women get emotional. Mm-hmm. Men get emotional, too. But, but, but sometimes, y'all will go over the deep end and sugar, be ready to 
Run away from the situation. Yeah, a woman who quit to run away is one who's not quick to stay. <laughs> Hello? Hey, must speak with Jeffrey, please? It's Jeff. Good morning, Jeff. How are you? Hey, man, I'm good. Who this? Hey, look, so you're on the phone with Young Jock. Me and Shanika shout out with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover, a nationally syndicated morning show. Right now, the segment of our show is called The Day Dilemma. We on live with you, man. Can we talk to you for a minute, my boy? Man, man, how y'all you get my number? Well, say, man, man, listen here, man. Uh, a woman. A woman. Yeah, we got it. That's how we got your number, for real, for real. So listen, are you familiar with a woman by the name of Sydney? Yeah, I'm familiar with Sydney. That's your lady, right? Right. So she is your well, lady. Well, I mean, be honest. She, be honest. She's tripping. It was a situation over the a argument we had, basically, about the high school coach. Punching, punching the young guy. Punching the young player on the side, man. But I was like, and I've been in Malachi's life, you know, as a, as a father, and spent a lot of time with him, and, and he wants to play football. And, and you know, he toughened him up, you know. So I was just, me and Cindy got into it, man. She's been ignoring him phone calls for the last two days, mm. my text messages. So you agree with and the coach? Like, you know how, coach, man, you got to think, we grew up playing. Yes. Come on now. Like, when hey, coach yeah. Coach slap you side the hell. The hell, man. Bah, yeah. Hell, head butt you, and they ain't got on no hell, man. But that's just to get you focused and, uh, you know, keep you in the game and, and don't lose train of thought. It's just a level of aggression. Seeing the aggression, but that's the passion, the love for the sport. And I just try to Have you ever had to put hands on her son to get him in line? No, no I, I mean, no, I, I can I can just raise my, you know, voice, you know, with, with more strong and strength and authority, and, and he gets it, but. Well, I, we we kind of heard about y'all argument and kind of how she had left man, and come home. I ain't talking to my sinning, but I just ain't, ain't, ain't with, I ain't with all that, man. I, I ain't going to lie. I can't, I can't deal with that. To be taken to the extent of ignoring. Well, she she she's on the phone now, so we can stop out ignoring and all that. She's on the phone now. Sydney's there. Sydney, she's Sydney. on the phone right now. Yeah, Sydney, you there? Yeah, I'm here. There he is, Jeffrey. Sydney, Sydney, Jeffrey. Hey, Jeffrey. Hey. I was telling them about the situation, and I I do think it kind of went overboard with me leaving. But also, you was never going to get my point of view. Oh my goodness! So you had to call the radio station for real. And I it, had to make it, sure it, I wasn't and, tripping. And, 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 I mean, come on now. You know, child, them they give out good advice, and that, but you know, come on now. I thought we were gonna keep what's between us, us not to take it to that platform. But since we here and, and who all listening, you know, I just want to let everybody know I ain't, I ain't with the extended drama when we trying to make our young men and groom them in, in areas that they cho- choose to be in playing sports to make them tough and better. When you came at me like that and, and ignored my phone calls and the text, then that really disappointed me. Because I thought we was better than that. I thought we was better than that, too, which is why I called and I talked about it and I thought it through, which is why I'm, you know, talking to you now to try to get you back because I do miss you. But at the same time, you have to understand where I'm coming from as a mother. I mean, and biologically, to, he, he isn't yours. Even though you do treat him like right. yours, you have to see that. Right. I, I have some time to think about some stuff at the same time, you know. And, um, you know, I miss my Malachi, you know. Um, miss both of y'all, but, you know, I just don't want us to go through this type of, you know, drama. You know. Well, I want to come home, baby. I want to come home. Oh, you sound well, excited. I ain't, ain't going to lie. I ain't ate good in two days, and I miss you cooking. <laughs> oh, uh, no. I eat on the, the, eat on the stove. Maybe that's, what we, maybe that's what we should do. So y'all go get y'all parenting skills together, because it just seems like y'all got to be on the same page. And that's and that's going to be something we have to talk about, but I'm just not, I don't know. If you think that's still okay, though, if he thinks that that coach was in the right by putting his hand on that kid, it's going to be a problem because that's not, I don't think that's... Baby girl, you still ain't learned the lesson. Like, like you, you, I'm, mm. But y'all miss each other. Y'all just got to work out what y'all think. You know, We could agree to disagree. We're not when you got a young man in, 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 involved because you're going you're gonna to be looking exactly, at him. Exactly, that's my point. I think that he likes you enough to gauge how to treat your son and what type of punishment he needs or don't need. And, and the thing is, I even asked Malachi what he thought about it. And I don't know, Sydney, if you even asked Malachi what he thought about it because you was too busy in your thoughts about it mm. and lashing out on me. Wow. Well, I didn't ask him Ooh. at all. That's not good, Sydney. So, because he's a child. But he, no, he, but he's playing he's in eighth grade. Mm. He's still a child. Well, <laughs> well, listen, y'all already agreed that y'all going to take each other back. Uh, on behalf of 1-800-ENGINE-THE-BETHUNE Law Firm, uh, we're going to hook y'all up with $100. I'm happy that you guys were able to find a resolve in the midst of this misunderstanding. Uh, I pray it works out for you guys, man. Y'all just have to communicate more and not be so quick to stand on your square without listening to your partner's square, okay? Mm-hmm. So our listeners, call us up. one 844 yungjoc Again, that's one 844 Can't wait to hear from you. Young Jack in the streets morning. Take over. That was the date dilemma with Young Jack in the streets morning takeover. 
Yeah. We lit. Yeah. Boy, I need something to pipe me up this morning, bunny. I know. You need something. You need sugar or something. You want to make a run? I don't know, cause yo, what's what's the what's the energy this morning? It's it's um, bland. bland. It's bland. Yeah. It's bland. Straight door. But but want to argue. She said if we're not arguing, yes, it's she, not fun. Yes, yes. She you want to go back and forth. <laughs> I mean, it adds excitement to my life. Wow, you need to get some hobbies. We're gonna do a new. You're right. I do actually. We're gonna have another. I only segment. work for Streets Morning Takeover all day, every day. <laughs> who, who, who we're, don't? Gonna, we're gonna do another <laughs> segment called the work smirk. I know, right? What's that? You know, it's people at work that right. you don't like, but you have to give them a smirk. Hey. Oh, I do that all the time with shouting. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Won't he do hey, it? man, Dave Dilemma. Cindy's calling after uh, her and Jeffrey got into an argument about the high school coach that punched the kid. That's right. I don't know if you guys saw it, but recently happened. Uh, Cindy was concerned about him uh, getting physical with her son like that, so she left. I mean, I get it. Now, he agreed with the coach, Shawty. He said, man, you know, I ain't seen nothing wrong with the coach. He did what he's supposed to do. He's being tough. Of course, you know, when you disagree with something, naturally, you want your significant other, or you know. To, to agree with you. To agree with you, right? Yes. But when they go against you, and this is something that you standing on, it's going to create an issue. I mean, what's your thoughts on it, buddy? I mean, I play sports, and I feel like I saw coaches get physical, especially with the, the boy sports more so, not the females, of course. Football players. Yeah, football, even basketball. I saw, you know, they would kind of judge them up a little bit. So I think that I agree with you. I think that sometimes we're just a little too soft. Like, we're these kids soft. are just a little too soft. I've heard parents have to uh, get called for defects because they spanked their kids. Like, man, yeah. I was getting spanked when I was a kid, but, and that just... It made you respect your parents. But like, that's part of it. But the coach, if I'm a parent sitting on the sideline and I see you punch my son like that, I'm going to the sideline. I'm like, bitch, you won't punch me like that. But it's, he's an authoritative figure not over that. that situation. Like, you're not teaching your son football, basketball, whatever. The I'm authority trying. is the coach right now. He's just got to get a little aggressive, shake yeah. him up. Come on out here and knock somebody's helmet out, boy. <laughs> yeah, you punch him in the good at boxing practice. That's it. Hey, man. <laughs> What's your thoughts on this day dilemma? I'm glad it worked out, but at the same time, she said that little boy was in eighth grade and he played sports. A coach has already done that. That's probably why neither one of them never said how the son felt about it. Parents can feel how they want to feel. If a child has a relationship with that coach, if that coach has a relationship with that team like that and he's made it clear to the parents, it should be no problem. Now, somebody, I got one thing. Why is it every time that you say something, it's always negative about the females? Females don't always please. Because there's an argument. If there's an argument, why you want to say that and keep hollering back and forth? Is it not okay to leave during the argument? I don't understand why not. It's not a good. No, it's not a good sign to run up and leave every time there's an argument. That shows a woman is not going to stay. That's not true. Oh, what about well, if, if there's, well, if if there's think, a whole lot of passion inside it? What about if there's so much passion behind the argument that y'all might just need to take a breather from each other? Ain't not. It's not like y'all not coming back, but just taking a breather is not a bad thing because otherwise it's going to be holes in the wall. If that work in your house. Young Jack in the Streets wanted to take over and talk about this date dilemma. Good morning. I'm going to say I don't think that she was, um, yes, boys need discipline, but y'all be going to the stream sometimes and accidents happen. Um, it was a case when I think the father boxed the son in the chest and he died and he said boys need discipline. That's like you being at work. If you at your job and you have doing your job, if little boss comes back to touch your face, you ain't going for that. And yes, they are kids, but kids are due respect. Man, these kids got to toughen up, man. I played football, and guess they what? Up, but yeah, and so guess you what? Him up there, you and guess what? The son. coach, that's, that, that's how you get sometimes. You get a little rough. Yep. You get down in there in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the grit of everything, the grit and the grind. It's, that's how it go. We too soft right now. You can't mm -hmm. do nothing with kids no more. If you whoop your child, your ass go to jail. But you the one got to deal with a bad ass. And I'm not saying that kid that was playing football was bad. I'm just saying, the coach, Coach Sledge, that's actually one of my partners. And I know that man ain't nothing, been nothing but an inspiration to the community. He always been stand up. Now, when I saw it, I was like, ooh, that's a little much, especially on live TV. <laughs> but I understand. We just gotten so soft. Times have changed. Yeah. Coach, what's no. it? Coach Sledge. Coach Sledge. Partner. My partner, for real, in real life, grew up with him. Crazy. All thank right, you thank for you for your call. Yeah, man. It'd be like it'd be, man. Oh, you smarter than Young Jock is on the way. Got a $50 gas card. Sitting right here for you, buddy.
Get back, Bunny. Bunny trying to slide in her purse. Mm-hmm. We know you got to put gas in that big old truck. Hey, man, <laughs> call to play. Are you smarter than Young Jock? Sponsored by the law offices of Julian Lewis Sanders. That's right. The number's 1-844-YUNGJOC. Again, that's 1-844-986-4562. Keep it right here. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Wing lunatics are trying very hard to bring back COVID lockdowns and mandates with all of their sudden fear mongering about the new variants that are coming. But to every COVID tyrant who wants to take away our freedom, hear these words. We will not comply. So don't even think about it. We will not shut down our schools. We will not accept your lockdowns. We will not abide by your mask mandates. And we will not tolerate your vaccine mandates. We will not comply. Amen. So look, let's let's keep it up. <laughs> let's keep it a hundred. We won't. Trump is saying what he's saying. Mm-hmm. I think he's standing on it. No, he's I, definitely standing on it. He's standing in the video. I'm a citizen, <laughs> all right? Uh huh. And I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Come on. Every day, when I hear a news clip or article, I read a piece of content that says COVID is. Rearing its head again, uh huh. I'm gonna keep it a whole hundred bucks with you. Come on, I'm starting to feel like, all right, now how this time gonna go? Because the first time, the initial time that we saw a quote unquote pandemic, I, it was the first time I ever used the word pandemic. Yes, honestly, I, we was yes, I, we, in your lifetime for sure. In my lifetime, yeah. I kept saying, ep- it was there's an epidemic coming because we were p- reporting uh-huh. the news and I kept hearing, no, it's pandemic. All right, yes. so that lets you know, first time I've dealt with something in my lifetime. Uh, of this magnitude, you and you too, Bunny. Mm-hmm. Now, this first go around, we were all scared. We didn't have enough information on it. The government didn't have enough information. No. Therefore, they couldn't provide enough information, right? We didn't have a pre existing uh, vaccine for this. So we're watching as they hit us with a let's try this vaccine. Uh-huh. Maybe this one will work. Mm-hmm. Don't use the Johnson and Johnson. You know, initially, it's our first time dealing with this, Bunny and Shawty. This second go around, do y'all believe that people will conform no. to the concept of sheltering in place, to the concept of mask mandates, to the concept of three people in a restaurant at a time? Hell well, no. Well, What's- here's the thing. I think that some people's family members died from COVID. Right. So I think that those people and other people that have low immune systems will, for sure. But, but some people was walking out here, you know. Not caring. Y'all not call caring. us up, because I know our listeners got something to say, man. one 844 Do y'all think people will conform to this second round of COVID? Young Jack in the streets, morning takeover. Morning takeover. Bunny Bank, shout it, shout it. Hey, look here, man. Let's just get into it, right? So uh, Trump has definitely decided to blast these Dems. Because he's feeling some kind of way. The left-wing lunatics are trying very hard to bring back COVID lockdowns and mandates with all of their sudden fear-mongering about the new variants that are coming. But to every COVID tyrant who wants to take away our freedom, hear these words, we will not comply. So don't even think about it. We will not shut down our schools. We will not accept your lockdowns. We will not abide by your mask mandates. And we will not tolerate your vaccine mandates. That's right. Now, you know what's interesting? What's that? He had, uh, he and Governor Brian Kemp started off on the same page and ended up beefing as everything was unfolding Yes, during the initial, you know, lockdowns and everything through COVID. And Brian Kemp, Governor Brian Kemp, left Georgia open. Yes, he did. Which caused a lot of confusion. Now, I'm going to say this, and I don't want to get in trouble, but I'm going to say it. I don't think our numbers... In Georgia, uh-huh. were any higher than anywhere else, considering we were open. Because if it was that that bad, our numbers should have been skyrocketing through the roof, yes. which would have forced us to go and conform and be on lockdown. Yes, we were not. We were open. Well, surrounding cities still probably followed mandates, though. No, but we were open no. way before a lot no, of places. No, I'm saying Georgia. It's opposed to Louisville. It's opposed to. Uh, Places in Alabama, we opened up. We hardly we never closed. Open. I will say Atlanta was open. I would not say a, around the city of Atlanta, though. Georgia. They, had, they still had mandates, though. I'm we saying were, people we were all, still following mandates. But Atlanta, the city of Atlanta could not survive without 
being open as it was. Because we had but a governor who wasn't implying this stuff, and the governor is over the whole state. And now Trump is taking right. on the same outlook and the same sense of care as Governor Kemp. So I want to ask y'all, will you conform to the new COVID mandates? I don't care what the people do. I know I'm not doing it. The last pandemic was sure hell. I lost my job. I had to stay at home with the kids. I'm not masking up. I'm not doing nothing. I still caught COVID like four times. So it don't even matter. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not doing that. I'm not doing no, I'm not gonna be afraid of anything. I'm gonna live my life. That's you right. What's me? your name, baby? My name is Shay. Repeat it after me. No rubbers, no mask. No rubbers, no Don't mask. do that, Shay. <laughs> Don't wow. do that. Young Jack in the Speech Morning Takeover. Will people conform to the COVID mask mandates? No. Can I speak on COVID for a second? Yes, go ahead. Come brother. on. Man, listen, I'm gonna shoot I'm gonna spit this straight at you. And I'm an old country boy from Alabama. Herd immunity is the best option. I don't wash my hands a lot of times wait, because wait. I want to build those germs. That's what builds your immune system, man. Come on, People don't business, realize man. that. They don't realize I, that. I'm telling you the truth, man. I didn't take no vaccine. I, I eat oranges and, and uh, fruits. Yes. Man, I got, man, I got it. And uh, I two days, you. it was gone. You wash your hands in the bathroom, though, right? Like when you use the bathroom? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just depends <laughs> on what's going on and if I'm working, what's happening, you know. Just let me, let me, but let me, yeah, if I'm out and stuff, I do. But, let, let you know, I ain't going to lie. Really quickly. Sometimes work, working, I may not. <laughs> <laughs> Same, I love I love our listeners. Same here. At least he's honest. No, 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 no. I respect. I respect people <laughs> who are just downright honest. Pure point blank. Hey, man, are you smarter than your jock? It's on the way. We got some money <laughs> for you if you can beat me. You think somebody's going to beat me today? They're absolutely going to beat you. I feel like I'm going to get beat today. I had a long weekend. Oh, boy. I'm still trying to recover, man. one 844 you Again, that's one 844 9864562 Are you smarter than your jock? is on the way. We're waiting on you so you can get this money. Young jock in the streets morning. Take over. Your wits, test your knowledge for cash and prizes. Take it, take it, the game, the game's mine. It's Are You Smarter Than Young Jock? The king and his gang. gang Only when Young Jock in the streets morning to take over. Young Jock in the streets morning to take over. Yes, you ready to play? Yes. Smarter than Young Jock? I am. Uh-oh. Are you smarter than Young Jock, though? Of course I am. I'm going to give you a shot to figure it out. I'm going to turn you over to Bunny Banks. Let's get it. Okay, what's your name? Patrice. Okay, oh, yeah. Patrice. We're going to find out if you are smarter than Young Jock today. Rules of the game. You're going to have 10 seconds to answer each question. If you get the question wrong, the other person will have the chance to answer the question for the points, okay? Okay. Do not answer the question while the uh, while it is the other person's turn. Okay. Let's start with our guest, Patrice. What year did hip hop celebrate 50 years? Is it A, last year, B, 2024, C, 2020, or D, 2023? B, 2023. That's your final answer, Patricia. Yes. Three. That is correct. (laughs) All right. Jock, you ready? Yeah. What film did the phrase, I see dead people, come from? A, Jason versus Freddy, B, The Sixth Sense, C, The Woods, or D, The Boogeyman? The Sixth Sense. Are you sure, Jock? Yes, because when that little boy kept saying he see dead people and that bullet went up through that pillar and them, them feathers floated in the room. Okay, hey, don't like, tell man. us the movie. Oh, my bad. <laughs> that is correct. I love it. All right, one and one. Patricia, which NFL player spent two years in prison for being one of the chief operators of Bad News Kennels? All right. Is it A, Emmitt Smith, B, Deion Sanders, C, Michael Vick, or D, Tom Brady? C, Michael Vick. Said that with confidence. Mm Mm-hmm. Final answer. (laughs) That is correct. Ew. Ooh, Jock. Patricia might be smarter than you. No. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Take away the, the multiple choice and see what really is going on. Oh, okay. my God. Yeah, exactly. You know it's your turn, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. What was the first Disney animated feature movie that was not based on an already existing story? <laughs> no, I ain't say do that with me. <laughs> That's what you talking about. I'm talking about with them. <laughs> I'm going to give you a, a multiple choice and then we'll make it even on the third one, okay? If you get this right. Is it A, The Lion King, 
B, Wakanda Forever, C, Spider-Man, or D, Cinderella? This is Duffy. Three. Two. <laughs> I would say Wakanda. They ain't, but this is the dude, uh, Wakanda, did it? You goofy. So Cinderella got it. <laughs> Come on, Cinderella. You're wrong. You're wrong. Oh, All right, Patricia, your chance to win. What was the first Disney animated feature movie that was not based on an already existing story? A, The Lion King, mm. B, Wakanda Forever, C, Spider-Man, or D, Cinderella? Okay, I think Josh said D, so I'm going with B, Wakanda. Girl. Two. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Guys, a Disney animated feature? Oh, wait, can I take it back? Can I take no. it back? Too late. I know what it is. I know what it is. It's Spider-Man. It's Spider-Man. It's still wrong. It's still wrong. <laughs> Both of y'all goofy. It's, it's the Lion, King. Lion King. I was trying to give us a chance to win. <laughs> no, you wasn't. I Josh. definitely was. I just told All you. All right. Patricia, this is for you for the win. No, it's not. Yes, okay. it is because you got that wrong and then she oh, had the chance. Dang. See? All right. What does SMH stand for? <laughs> Did I get multiple choice? No. Wow. Three. Okay. Two. SMH. I'm sorry, Patricia. That was your 10 seconds. Ah! Already? Uh, yeah. Jack. What? What does SMH stand for? Okay. Shaking my head. Two. What? That is correct. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. I like you said SMH. It's okay. All right. Okay, Jack. You still got one more. Before you possibly beat Patricia. Here we go, Patricia. <laughs> you better hope I get it wrong because you could get it. I'm Which praying. musician <laughs> was known as the King of Pop? Three. Two. Michael what? Jackson. Y'all just wanted us to wait. That is correct. Oh, my God. Patricia, I'm sorry. What? You are not smarter than Young Jock. Unfortunately, we cannot give you a $50 gift card. But what we can do is give you some shout outs. Who do you want to shout out to? I want to shout out to my mama. She just threw me a baby shower this weekend and it was great. Congratulations. Um, <laughs> thank you to my babies, Trent and Caleb. And, um, and my husband, Josh. Okay, thank you so much, Patricia. We appreciate you playing. All right, thank you. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Test your wits. Test your knowledge for cash and prizes. Take, take the game, the game's mine. It's Are You Smarter Than Young Jock? The king and his gang. gang Only with Young Jock in the streets morning take off. Are You Smarter Than Young Jock? It's sponsored by the law offices of Julian Lewis Sanders and Associates. In the car rent call, 855-J Sanders. What up, buddy? What up? <laughs> what up, shout You know what it is, brother. All I'm going to say is this caffeinated beverage uh-huh. is working. Yes. It added some salt and sugar. Oh, man, I'm lit this morning. Hey, look, man, if you've missed our show, any part of our show, you can always go back and catch the entire show on our Streets app. That's right, Streets with a Z. Um, and just know this. We love our listeners so much. How much? How much? How much? Man, do you realize it was listeners mm-hmm. at a private location? Mm-hmm. It was a celebrity's house. Oh, yeah. A celebrity mansion. That they opened their house up for us to have yes. this crazy pool party. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about. Woo. Dope. Shouts out to y'all for joining us over the weekend. Yeah. Shouts out to you, Bunny. Yes. You was lit. I liked your outfit. I meant to tell you, I didn't get a chance. Yeah, shout out to Bruce Glenn. It's Who's a, that? Um, they are two part of the LGBTQ community, but they're two designers, and mm-hmm. they were at the Curls Fashion Show, and I bought that dress there. Oh, you got that there? Yes, it was great. And it's such good material. Ladies, definitely check out Bruce Glenn because when you put your bathing suit on, you can use it as a Oh, the, twi- the two guys. The- mm-hmm. You know what? I thought you had on some really, really expensive. expensive. I did. Yeah, it's very nice quality. Oh, man. Shout out to For them. black right. business. You was lit. You was lit. Shout out to you was clean, my boy. Oh, yeah. I had on that triple OG. And, uh, yeah. 
He, I got a bag for you, man. He sent you an outfit. He no, got, I'm trying to steal your clothes. No, yeah. I can't wear his clothes. See, see, I, <laughs> see how I worked them up to it. No, uh, no, so, so, I got a that? bag for you. What's that? What a bag? It's, it's right there in my Hold foyer. Hold for a minute. Hold on. It's, it, it's sitting what on. Ba- what a bag? It's called? sitting on the luxury couch in my foyer, right by the door. <laughs> not the, the luxury. Yeah, because, you know, I got one of them little skinny couches right there in the foyer <laughs> with the little tufted. That's funny. <laughs> but I got it. It's a dope outfit, and I told okay. him I was going to present it. I been bring it to the party. You saw I was dressed in triple OG. Right. So he got you. It's dope. I mean, you're going to love it. Man, shouts out to everybody who's a part of it, man. Shouts yes. out to our station. Yes. Uh, y'all Street came TV. through Clutch Streets TV. That mm-hmm. was amazing, man. Uh, shouts out to the food, the chefs. Ooh, the oyster guy. Who is the oyster guy? Who is the oyster oh, guy? Who is the oyster guy? <laughs> he has a restaurant. Okay, that is the executive chef yes. of CNS Seafood. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. Yes. And when I tell you, okay, so let me explain this to you. Tell them. Tell them. Please. Do you know how much, when you go to CNS, how much those cost for six? I can imagine. Yeah, they're yes, pretty they're pricey. Very expensive. Cause expensive. It's my wife's favorite food. So when they were there. Oh, oh Jasmine was tearing them up? She, she, she ate about 10. <laughs> yeah, well, that, was the whole, that was the whole reason I asked. <laughs> I went back so many times. I was like, can you give me two more? Can I get two and more? And they were just giving them. That's why they, I were, asked, they were handing them out. That's why I candy. asked a funny, funny fact. Uh, Kendra is very picky, mm-hmm. very finicky eater. Yes, yes. And uh, something like oysters, or any of that, never would she ever, 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 ever touch it. And she see me kept ordering these char grilled oysters. She's like, baby, why are you eating? I said, baby, if you could just taste one, I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Man, she hit that most there. She got the other oh, one. She said, oh, <laughs> that is good. I said, how good, baby? She said, give me another one. I said, really? <laughs> And ever since then, we've been eating them char grill oysters. Wow. Boy, I'm trying to tell you. Boy. I haven't bought in. I didn't eat one, but I. You I, didn't eat a char grill oyster? You know, I, I don't scared. eat oysters, but I was running them over there so fast. That they was, oh, they was, man. They were <laughs> sizzling. They had the stuff on the top. And, boy. <laughs> My birthday coming up, though. Wow. How you going to outdo this? I know. Uh, you got to do it bigger and better. No, no. No. No, listen. I'm glad you said that. Somebody asked me that uh-huh. at the party. It was me. Oh, it was you. <laughs> wow. Oh, it was you. But I said, so how you gonna do your birthday? It's oh, got to be bigger and better. I said, no. Mm-hmm. Consistency is the key. Yes. We always trying to go bigger over and beyond. Get get the basics down first. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Get the basics down. Then when you get the basics down, then we could graduate. But listen, Bunny, mm-hmm. my birthday party. I want you to be one of the hosts. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was turning the people up at the pool party. Next time, we're going to have some twister games. I'm not going to forget my games this time, Josh. I didn't see you get in the pool, though. I did. I jumped in the pool. That's how I know you wasn't watching. And, why she and then there? Swin had ruined she my whole in the pool? moment. She yes. jumped in the pool? I was about to jump in the pool, and then Swin going to be like, the shuttles are leaving in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Word on the streets. Going down. Like Jason it's Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover with Miss Shanika. That's right, that's right. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Yeah. We got Bunny Banks taking over this morning for Miss Shanika. What up, Bunny? All right, let's get into this. Our own my- gunplay. Gunplay's estranged wife, Von Shea Taylor Morales, opens up about where things stand between her and the rapper since he pulled the AK out on her and their child. Um, I filed for divorce. He would not sign the divorce papers. So I'm stuck. <laughs> Unfortunately, in the state of Florida, I cannot divorce him without his permission. Unless he goes to jail, he'll fix it, or he's a mental institution patient. I am the new joy. He do love you. I love him. That's my best friend. But unfortunately, sometimes you gotta let this person you love go so you can find himself. And I want him to find himself. I want him to get home. We do have a child together, so it is what it is. Imagine trying to get rid of somebody, but they have to confirm. That sucks. I mean, yeah. Because if I want to divorce you, why do you need to turn around and be like, yes, we're also divorcing? Uh. You know how it go. Mm-hmm. It do seem like it should be easier than that. I shouldn't have to run you down to get rid yeah, of you. Yeah, that's I, crazy to it's me. It's all type of stuff. You have to be split up, assets, uh, different things. So the courts want to make sure they close everything up before uh, they split this couple. Well, I'm sure they're going to give us some more information on what's going on in their life. Um, let's get into this. A barber is calling out YK Osiris for skipping payments on his haircut. Y'all know I cut my first celebrity client, YK Osiris, last week. I charged him 150 for the cut. He paid me 200 He tipped me $50. No complaints. But he had hit me up to come line him up. I charged him $100 for the lineup. This 
Hit me with the, all right, I'm gonna cash app you. I'm like, I don't think he gonna do me like that. It's just a hundred dollars. It's not a hundred K. I was like, no, I'm gonna give it a few days. Maybe he's super busy. So I gave it a few days, right? Up until yesterday, I got tired. I was like, okay, cool. Let me hit him up and see what's going on. Cause it's been too long. And then proceeds to post this video on his story. Hey, look, I'm cash at me. Everybody birthday this in September. Marco Osiris is a hoop for me. What? He owes everybody money. And he just be skipping Stop. around so, town. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go ahead, y'all. Allegedly. Allegedly, he owes a lot of people some money. <laughs> Listen, I get sued and we be owing yes, him some dad. money. Allegedly, he owes a lot of people some money. YK, I don't want this to be your reputation. Just pay these people, okay? He paid her the first time. $200 for a haircut. <laughs> he paid her for five haircuts. He did. That's expensive. You <laughs> guys paying 150 about- for haircuts out here? What? Depending. If they come to you, yeah. Okay. If they tell me, if they tell me 150, they going to hear that gunner line. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to Light Skin Keisha. She reveals that she is pregnant on her birthday. So congratulations to her. That's the word on the streets. I'm your girl, Bonnie Banks. You guys can see all that on Streets Morning Takeover with the Z. And follow me at T-H-E-E, the Bonnie Banks. That is, Bunny. You know what it is. The Love Doc Jock is on the way. It's about that time for the Love Doc Jock. Help me help you help okay. me. Okay, come on. What's your problem? And this guy will either help or hinder your relationship. Who do I think I am? Why I tell people that? Either way, he's a man for the job. It's Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. I am him. Love Doc Jock. Look here, man. It's pre-cuffing season, you know. Mm-hmm. We're going into October shortly, even though, although we just got into September, but we're speaking for the future. Now, what pre-cuffing season means is this is the time when you start to put yourself on the market to be cuffed or to cuff. A lot of y'all got it wrong, though. You got it wrong. Stop giving people your representative, people. Be who you truly are. Mm. If you truly like to sit around the house and do nothing, let the person who you let the person who you're trying to uh, date, let them know that. Be truthful, be forthcoming. You know what I'm saying? It works better. You know why? Because during cuffing season, you spend a lot of time in close-knit situations. You know, you cuddle, you hold hands, you sit on the sofa, you lay in the bed, you go out to eat a lot more, or you sit down and eat more. So when you're in that 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 uh that personal space with someone, that intimate mm-hmm. space, you should be truly who you are because that's when mm-hmm. they really get to see. Who someone is during the summer? Mm-hmm. Oh, you get to put on, you get to go out, pop out. Then when you come back in after hot ass day, then you can give them a little bit of the representative. But when it's cold and you cuffing during the cuffing season, mm-hmm. you are truly displaying who you are when no one's around. Come on, because during cuffing season, you know it's more of an intimate space and time that y'all spend together. You know what I'm saying, Bunny? Mm-hmm. <laughs> when the like that's that's why they end up breaking up when summer come back around. because the true them comes out. Mm-hmm. You see, you spring it on them. Yeah, you see, you, see, you spring it on them. Okay, and then you want some of this and some of that. Yes, and that's why you break up before you fall back in love. Hi. Goodness. That was cold. It does say help like or the hinder your relationships. So. That was cold like the winter. Who baby. was that? Deliver that. That was the young. Jock, love Doc Jock. Yeah, this caffeine it. got some extra. It's it it got me kicking. Hey, look, man, if you got a small business and you like to be spotlighted. <laughs> it's time for Small Business Spotlight, giving back to the community. With Young Jock in the streets, morning takeover. All right, I'm Rashard with Rashard's Cleaning Solutions LLC. My business uh, is cleaning. Uh, what makes my business special is we get in there and do it the right way every time. You can count on us, residential, commercial. We are licensed, bonded, and insured, but we're the best for the job. Our number is 678-508-6553. You can find us on Instagram at Rashard's Cleaning Solutions LLC. Same on Facebook, man. Young Jock is the best. Every morning, I wake up with Young Jock in the streets morning to take over. It's going crazy on this beautiful uh, Tuesday, man. It's a talk to Tuesday. Join me, your favorite cousin, Young Jock, tonight yeah. at Boogaloo, man. We're going all the way up, man. It's Virgo season. I'm celebrating all month long. Mm-hmm. Even though I'm not saying I'm celebrating all month long, I'm celebrating all month long. How about that right there? What do you want for your birthday, Jock? Uh, mm-hmm. I don't really know, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, God has been so good to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I think I just I want to do something. Uh, and I don't want to make this too you know like yeah. I don't want to make this down but mm-hmm. I definitely would like to do something where I sp- take some time to just uh, do something for um, 
the something for my mom. Mm. Okay. Sense. Like, you know, something yeah. that, like a reflection. Yeah, because I, yeah, I, I wouldn't have mm. a birthday if it wasn't for her mm. and my yeah. dad. So I think I want to do something different. Okay. I'm definitely gonna have some parties. Y'all know we gonna party. Y'all okay. gonna do that. Mm-hmm. But I just, I, I don't know. I just want to do something that's, uh, you know, reflective. Okay, yeah. maybe we can make one it of those, happen. One of those days, or a portion of one of those days, I gotta mm-hmm. do something for your mama. Yeah, for my mama. Yeah, okay. that's it. Yeah, like Miss Vicky. Mm-hmm. But we going up tonight at Boogaloo, baby. Hi. I'm trying to tell you, man. And shouts out to everybody who made it out to our uh, Young Jock and friends, Young Jock in the Streets morning take over field trip, mm-hmm. man. Wow. That was a vibe. What a field trip. The food was amazing. Shouts out to the the, 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 the bartenders, the hookah girls. Yeah. Shouts out to the shuttle service. Everybody, man. Shouts Everybody. out to Bunny. Yes. Yes. Shout, Shout out, out to, to me for getting the party hype a Shout, little too late. Shouts out to your bathing suit. Shouts out to Shout 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 His yes. wife came through. Balling, yes. bossed up. Yes. Shout out to Kendra. Yes. Kendra looked good. Yes, she did. Yes, she, she was did. looking like money. Her makeup was so beautiful. Yes, and I was she like, had her, hey, Kendra. Uh, gold bathing suit with her big old jacket on, but it was silk Wait, looking. That's not That's no, not, not the outfit. Ball. That was not the outfit. That's it was a jacket. money bathing suit with like a cover up. Well, I wasn't looking at his wife. She was saying. And I had nobody else. And the sad thing is, we all. Almost had a great party with no incidents. What happened? I had to take Kendra to the uh, ER. Too many oysters? Nah. What? I built her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey y'all, it's love, man. We'll catch y'all on tomorrow, <laughs> man. It's Psychic man. Wednesday. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover.